one of the oldest challenges against Christianity, and still today one of the most popular, is that the God of the Old Testament is different than the God of the New Testament. And when I hear this, there's a part of it that seems to ring kind of true. This is a fair objection. I mean, look in the Old Testament. We see God's judgment. We see wars. We see this vindictiveness of God and His wrath being poured out against the people. But then you go to the New Testament and you see Jesus, you see sacrifice, you see humility, you see mercy. How could this be the same God? Well, I understand on the surface how people could come to this conclusion. But when we probe a little deeper, what we realize is we actually see a lot of mercy of God in the Old Testament. For example, right when the people are led out of the Exodus into the desert, these are, this is God's holy people. They're complaining and they're whining and God is patient with them. He's long-suffering. He gives them manna. He gives them meat. God serves the people. Yes, we see his judgment, but we see God's mercy with the people even early on in the Old Testament. In fact, Ezekiel 18, 23, God says, Do I have any pleasure in the death of the wicked? Would I not rather that they turn from their evil ways and live? But we also go to the New Testament, and yes, we see the mercy of God, but we see judgment. We see Jesus at the temple clearly showing his wrath. We see in Acts chapter 5, Ananias and Sapphira lying, and it cost them their life because they lie to the Holy Spirit. And you also see in Revelation the judgment and the wrath of God led personally by Jesus. So yes, there might be in the Old Testament stories that are highlighted differently. That's not because it's a different God. I think that's because we fully see the character of God revealed in the New Testament when Jesus comes down. But even Jesus believed that the God of the Old Testament is the same God that he followed in the New Testament and the same God that we follow today.